Hello my name is Sonali and I welcome you back to a new episode of Around the World in 7 Days. You must have heard a saying that what side will the camel sit on? In this people keep speculating that the camel might sit according to their thinking. But camel eventually sits as per its desire. He may sit to the left or to the right or even with his face raised towards the sky. If this proverb is used in the context of a country, then America is that camel. Actually, America's policies have always been so uncertain that it's not possible for the common people to understand them. If we see this in the case of India, then there was a time when America did not pay any attention to India. Instead, it was leaning towards Pakistan. In fact, after India's nuclear test in the year 1998, it had also imposed economic sanctions on India. But now times have changed. Now India has achieved a stature in international politics. In such a situation, America needs India, especially to counter China in the Indo-Pacific region. This is the reason why for the last two decades, America seems to be inclined towards India. To make things clearer, see it this way. There have been four presidents in America in these decades who were very different from each other. But there was no significant difference in their work to strengthen relations with India. They all were inclined towards having a good relation with India. Its hallmark was also seen in the recent US visit of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. America had invited him for an official state visit. During this, many important agreements were signed between the two countries in the fields ranging from land to space. Let us remind you that earlier in the year 2009, the then Prime Minister of India, Dr. Manmohan Singh, went on a state visit to America. Now the question is, what is the meaning of this visit of Prime Minister Modi? What are the agreements that have been signed between the two countries during this visit? Also, why America is giving so much attention to India by ignoring Pakistan? Let's talk about these questions one by one. During the meeting of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden, several important agreements including defense cooperation were signed. Along with jet engines, agreements related to buying drones, space missions and making chips in India are included in important announcements. But in this too, the announcement of making engines for fighter aircraft is very important because now America has agreed to transfer the technology of jet engine to India. Actually, an agreement has been signed between the prestigious company General Electric Aerospace of America and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Under this, now General Electric company will make jet engines in India itself. These engines will be used in the light combat aircraft Tejas MK2 fighter jet which are made in India. Actually, the Tejas MK2 needed the GE F414 engine. These engines were earlier imported. Therefore, the government of India has entered into a deal to set up the company's plant in the country itself. This deal has sent a clear message that the era of US shying away from sharing technology with India has begun to end. Apart from this, an agreement has also been signed between the two countries regarding the purchase of drones. Under this, India will buy armed drones from America. The name of these drones is MQ-9 Reaper. They are also called HAF, that is High Altitude Long Endurance Drones. This is one of the most dangerous drones in the world. They are made by the General Atomics Company of America. Both countries have also taken a big step towards bilateral space cooperation. India has signed the Artemis Accords. India has become the 26th country to sign this agreement related to space mission. Under this NASA and ISRO have agreed for a joint space mission next year. Significantly the Artemis Accords is a part of NASA's Artemis program. Under this NASA has a plan to land the first woman on the surface of the moon. Along with this new scientific discoveries will be made and for the benefit of all there is a plan to collect more information about the surface of the moon than ever before. 
it is worth mentioning here that India and America have been cooperating with each other in the campaigns related to the moon. However, this cooperation has so far been limited to information sharing only. However, after this agreement, NASA and ISRO will now share technology and resources with each other. Apart from this, NASA will provide advanced training to Indian astronauts with the aim of starting a joint effort for the International Space Station in 2024. In this way, agreements have been executed between the two countries on issues related to defense, science and economy. Now the question is why America is being so kind to India. This visit is a sign of the strengthening relations between India and America. Actually, the Indo-Pacific region is where the US needs India's influence more than anywhere else at this time. In this region, America has long been looking at India as a counterweight to China. It is another matter that India has generally been reluctant to enter this role. It may still be reluctant to do so, but China is certainly a factor in the strengthening India-US relations. This is because China is posing many challenges to India at the regional level, while at the global level, it is engaged in challenging America. In such a situation, when superpowers like China and Russia are standing in the same camp, then India becomes very important for America. This is the reason why America has been trying to include India in its camp from the very beginning. If America manages to do so, then it will be a challenge for China and a blow to Russia, because India is a historical and natural friend of Russia. According to reports, India is still dependent on Russia for about 50% of its defense needs. Moreover, India is fast emerging as a digital and technology giant, which can become an alternative supply channel and manufacturing hub to replace China. It is not a hidden fact that China and America are rivals of each other. So America is in the quest of shifting the manufacturing hubs from China. In such a situation, India can be a destination for it. Well, whether India is trying to serve its interest in the usual American way or will stand in its camp, only future will tell. But right now, it seems to be moving closer to America. However, one thing is also true that India has always taken pride in following its policy of non-alignment or strategic autonomy. As in the case of the Russia-Ukraine war, the same non-alignment has been reiterated. In fact, India does not want to be confined to any specific power center in the global order. So that's all for the day. See you in the another episode. But before that, let's note down a question based on today's story. In changing geopolitical equations, India and US are natural allies. Do you agree? Substantiate your views with examples.